what would you say to folks here about the use of the resurrection as an apologetic uh, to talk to people who don't know Christ? And what advice would you give on being prepared to do that? Knowing we're not all going to get PhDs yeah. on this. Um, well, let's, let me handle a second. Uh, it, well, okay, the, the first question, um, what good is it? I, I really believe that the, the, resurrect, the case for the resurrection of Jesus is a prescription for not only confidence in your own faith, but also being able to share your faith confidently with others. Um, Gary Habermas turned me on to this years ago. I was more interested in the science stuff back then. Hmm. But he, he got me into the resurrection looking at it, and it's like, you know, Mike, the intelligent design and all that's really cool, but you know, it, it, it only really proves there's a designer of the universe that's compatible not only with Judaism and Christianity, but also Islam and, and a general theism and, and, and things like that. You don't prove Christianity, but if Jesus rose from the dead, it's game, set, match. Christianity's true. God exists. You get yeah. one from the other. So right. you, you so take the way happened to me. Yeah. 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 With your, your six E's. Yeah. Um, so uh, it, it was, um, I, I got involved in it. There weren't as many people doing it at that point, and I just got hooked, and then I really got hooked when I started studying it as a historian would do it. When I did my doctoral work, it's like, wow, this is just awesome mm -hmm. stuff. So um, like if you're talking to an atheist, use the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus rose, Christianity's true, God exists. Uh, an agnostic, same thing. A Muslim, same thing, because the Quran says that Jesus did not die. So, of course, to be resurrected, you've got to die. So it shows Christianity is true, Islam is false. If, if you're talking to a Hindu, show the resurrection of Jesus, a Jew, the resurrection of Jesus. It's just great. If you're doubting your faith, see if Jesus rose from the dead. If he rose, like you said, it shows that Christianity is true. That's it. Yep. Um, some of the best um, stuff on it, your books. You know, you've got great well, that's stuff. That's because you're in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just uh, the one. But um, your books are so accessible. So a, a person doesn't need to get their Ph.D. They can read your books and, and really, uh, if a person doesn't want to focus on apologetics, I, I think by reading your four books, Case for Christ, Faith, Creator, for the Real Jesus, you have a, just a solid foundation for uh, apologetics and as much as you'll need to answer most people. Now, if you're like a lot of us um, who you start to get into apologetics and then you're having fun and you read these books and you say, Man, this, this is just too much fun. Um, and it really happens. You know, this is, uh, how many of you, inv you're already involved in apologetics out there? It's addicting, isn't it? I mean, it's just downright addicting. It's fun. So uh, when you get in, then you start to get some other books. And if you want other stuff on the resurrection, um, uh, you can get, uh, say, uh, The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus by Gary and I. Um, it's not harder than yours. It's just we oh, go into a, great book. A, a, a lot more instead of doing a, a book on the case for Christ, it's a book on just the resurrection. Yeah. And there's a video game in it, a, DV, a CD in it for PCs. Sorry, Mac users. But there's a, 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 a CD in there uh, with a game. Uh, it, it, we had a company donate over a quarter million dollars worth of, of labor to put that game together. Wow. It's a simulated television game show with a three-dimensional animated game show host who's pretty funny and helps you master the information in the book. And um, so that, that's like a self-study course on the resurrection of Jesus. And then if you really want to get into it and be able to answer about, you know, 100% of the skeptics out there, or really want to increase your, your knowledge about the resurrection, then the real thick book. Yeah. And if you don't nope. like it, you can always use it as a doorstop or something to pop <laughs> your piano up or, you know, something like that. Give us the name, the exact name of that, of the big book. Uh, the Resurrection of Jesus, A New Historiographical Approach.